the format of the robot. I lived in New Orleans growing up, and it's usually super rainy here. The monotone pitter-pattering of droplets reflecting off of everything it can reach served as a form of comfort as a child, as someone with a few siblings, it was almost always loud. The rain and the almost complete silence it came with was like heaven. I have various fond memories of sitting on the front porch of my childhood home getting drenched during the summer holidays. I remember one time me and a few friends danced in it. I'm currently staying in a cabin with my family in the woods for a few days, and it just started raining. Before school ended a few months ago, one of my desk mates showed me this cool looking game. She downloaded it on her phone and said it was awesome. I've been waiting for a good opportunity to use it, it's supposed to utilize your phone camera and it works best during rainy days. I'm using my computer to write this on so I can also use the app, and I'm going to write down my review on here to post later. The way she hyped it up made it sound so cool. The logo is a raindrop with a few sparkles on it, pretty soothing if you ask me. After loading up the app, it buffered for a few seconds before opening properly, but it's probably because of my internet quality. The way the home screen is designed looks pretty navigable. From the setup, I'm assuming it's a filter app. It's set like a camera app, or maybe the Snapchat camera thingy. I don't know how to explain it. The color combinations are aesthetically pleasing, a mix of navy blue and silver. When opening up the actual usage portion, it looks just like any other filter app. Their selection of different filters is quite vast though. I wonder how they fit so much into so little storage. The app itself only took a few seconds to download. Maybe a majority of the filters are hidden behind a paywall. I hate when that happens. Also the name of the app is Rain. It's pretty basic but it's literally a Rain app. I have no clue what more I expected from them lol. I'm going to try using one of the fairy filters. It's pretty crap, again, I shouldn't have set such high standards, it's a filter app. I'm going to upload one of the pictures I took using it. The fairy's design isn't horrible, though they probably just used a stock image. There's another filter here, the image for it is blank and it's not showing up on my phone. Never mind, it just looks super transparent. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies just looking at it, 